you got the war on terror. Although I have an idea of how to help with the war on terror. I was thinking that um, in every town in America, right, there's a suicide prevention hotline. And I was thinking what we could do is reroute those calls to the Army recruitment centers. <laughs> you was gonna die anyway. You might as well do some good on your way out. That's all I'm saying. I mean, don't be so damn selfish. She's gonna be a doctor. He's got a family. You was gonna die anyway. Pick up a goddamn gun and do some good, son. People get mad at me doing that joke. Joke about suicide's not funny. Shit, joke about suicide so dark. I always have one thought when I hear, I don't listen, it could just be me, but I always have the same thought whenever I hear somebody committed suicide, and I, you know, I feel close to you guys, maybe you feel the same way. Every time I hear somebody commit suicide, I have this thought. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Fuck this shit. <laughs> the world is a fucking shithole. Good for you. Everybody wants to hang out all oh, for fucking ever. 40's a new 20, 60's a new 20, 80's a new fucking 20. What's so goddamn great about 20? I was a moron when I was 20. I want to be 20 the rest of my fucking life? It's like life is a big old crappy party and nobody wants to go home. The cage dead, folks. The cage dead. Get the fuck out of here. Good for you. That's what I say. We got a war in the Middle East, and gas is still through the roof. Good for you. We got sexism, racism. We got more isms in this country than fucking prisons, and that's a fucking lie. You know what I say? Good for you. Everybody's thinking now uh, Heath Ledger, and Oscar's coming up. Is Heath Ledger going to get one? I'm not going to do some, some hacky Heath Ledger joke. I'm not. But here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. Whenever I hear somebody committed suicide, I feel like Deborah Winger's slutty friend and the officer and a gentleman. When I heard about Heath, I was like, way to go, Heath. Way to go. <laughs> Tell God I said hi. I hope them pills tasted like a fistful of Skittles. <laughs> Good for you. Well, I started talking about Obama. How the fuck I get all the way over there? Uh, see, this is what happens when you don't have a plan. Let me say this real quick. I'm gonna go, but uh, real quick, let me say this to you that uh, you know Obama really might win this thing. If he was saying, you know, this is gonna be a good thing for brothers in America, it's gonna be a good thing for brothers in America. But Obama wins, and I'm here to tell you, I don't necessarily think it's gonna be a good thing for all brothers in America. I think if Obama wins, there's going to be some brothers out here facing some hard stares from their women. Because <laughs> these brothers been out here skating on this, the man's keeping me down, I can't get a job shit. <laughs> Can you imagine the morning after the election? Well, well, well. <laughs> Michelle Obama's man got a fucking job. <laughs> He's president, maybe you heard. Surely you can run your ass down to Popeye's and serve up some number threes, motherfucker. <laughs> People keep saying, oh, if Obama wins, some white man gonna kill him. If Obama wins, some brother gonna kill him. <laughs> you fucking a fuck crazy, nigga. I was home getting high watching fraternity tests on water. Now she talking about serving up some number threes. Hey, my name's Orlando Bishop, and I threw this set. Thank you guys for coming out. It ain't no joke. We'll see you guys next month. Thank you to Tim Bass, Jerry Grant, Earl Faithful, and Grant. And thank you to all of you for supporting a great, great foundation. Thanks a lot. Good night.